Hello. Welcome to this year's 2020 first Stitch and Chat. Um, I'm going to try to do a double camera recording. So you have one here, uh, a close up where I'm going to stitch. Um, Once Upon a Fairy Tale, it's super sized, max color, heaven and earth designs and the artist is Amy Stewart and then I'm trying to have a camera at the same time facing me since it's well it's chatting and you might hear an alarm go off in like 20 minutes because my camera which you see here I try to arrange it somehow without the lamp and the glare and the camera but I couldn't. Anyway, you will see that one in view and it only records like 20 to 30 minutes at a time. And I usually forget that. So that's why I have an alarm set to ring. Uh, and then I have some threads hanging here from my lamp, which I'm using when I'm stitching these big cross stitches. But Let's just try and see how it goes, all right? My coffee, of course. In one of my favorite mugs, it is bought uh, at a uh, animal park we have here in the west of Sweden. It's a place where they take care of threatened animals. And they try to reproduce them and put them out into the wild. Yeah. So the money, what I was trying to say, the money for that mug, mug is donated to one of those animals, that art. So I have my uh, surf uh, thingy and I have pattern keeper where I have my heaven and earth design patterns. Uh, I haven't put all of them in there yet. I'm not sure I'm allowed to show you this, but it's a very, 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 very small part of the pattern. And yeah, so this is the thing I'm going to stitch and it's going to get very wobbly. And I have this nice holder on my floor stand. I'm using the Necessaire stand for the Millennium Frames. And yeah. Is there a shadow? No. Yes. I'm using that because um, the the Q snap with the um, with the all that bulky uh, fabric is just too heavy. And why do I have such a long strand? I don't know. So it's new to me also to have, you know, um, two cra cameras at the same time. Let's thread the needle and the beautiful needle, needle minder I'm using is from Rachel Ray. If I can Ooh, get close without sorry about everything so let's get started on this amazing design I wish I wasn't so I forget I need to that I wasn't so eager to start so many different designs because then I would have a lot of time stitching time for example this 
design right. So I'm stitching on 25 count. It's the pre-gridded fabric, which I highly recommend uh, if you're going to stitch heaven and earth designs. You don't have to, but for me, it makes life a little bit easier, uh, especially when you, like if you need to frog or something. I think I at least catch my mista mistakes faster when I have a gridded fabric. And yeah, uh, I like to do full crosses. Sometimes I do half one way and half the other way back. So let's talk some stitching. Um, The night between the 30th of December, no, 31st of December, of course, and um, the 1st of January, uh, Stitch Your Own Adventure released the first letter from Hogwarts. And I was on it. <laughs> In the morning, I woke up. I went to the Facebook group, I saw the release, and I started stitching. So I sat the whole day yesterday stitching the first letter. And I don't know if I should do some spoiler spoiler alerts. Well, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I will for sure show you my progress there but uh, I can say this what do every student need to go through the first year of Hogwarts you know the first ceremony and then you can imagine what it is about Imagine that there's people who make those patterns and cells for free, you know, using their own time. I understand that, you know, that you think it's fun. I would also uh, like to host a, a stitch along, especially, well, most people do like when it's free. I mean, you have to pay for all the materials, but... <coughs> thinking of um, the other cell I'm in, uh, pain, pain free crafts. Uh, there we actually had to pay for the pattern, not a lot, but you know, at least to pay the, the designer. And I think she puts a lot of work into that. Not only the designer, but the owner who's hosting the cell. Um, yeah. And I think it's totally worth it. I paid 13 pounds, British pounds. So yeah, I think that was, it's worth it. It's, it's the cell and the mystery and expectations and the new starts and all that and sharing it with so many others. I think that's the thing, not that it's free. So it's not that I don't like free, but again, I can imagine all the work they're putting in for that. So they are worth uh, a payment. 
let's see how far out is this setting so yeah um like i said on my whip braid i wondered for those of you who who like to watch uh, this kind of stitch along my once upon a fairy tale it, uh, because my plan was to stitch it uh, extreme cross country stitching it um, but then I was thinking maybe you know it's not so fun for you guys to look at that or maybe you're just listening and I don't know uh, maybe you you rather want me to stitch uh, not parking I'm not I'm not doing parking when it's max color it's it's a suicide uh, I think anyway uh, I showed you on my whip parade the sec secret garden garden I had just <clears throat> stitched the first I think it's like 800 stitches the top row and parking oh my god it's just a big mess maybe it gets better because every th thread you put in at the first row is like more or less a new new start why is it a pin? I need to take a close look. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you want me to stitch, you know, cross country a page at a time. Or two pages at a time. Or I don't know. I would like to know if you like to watch this stitch along. What you prefer. But then again, when I'm watching or listening to stitch alongs or w within chats on YouTube, I usually don't watch. I us usually just listen and Either I'm trying to, to fall asleep or I'm working on something else myself. So yeah, how was your Christmas and New Year's? I've been working all of those holidays and I've been off work in between when everyone else was working. If you haven't, <coughs> if they didn't have a vacation, of course. But on Christmas, we... We actually held it at our place and it was my husband's family coming. So we usually do that every second year we're here and his family comes to us and the other year, so next year, we're going to my sister's place and then she usually invites like my family, her family. I think this is a book, you know, Once Upon a Fairy Tale, all those world travel, secret garden, what else, the treasure hunt, um, the museum, all of those are bookshelves, so there's always some books in the back. Let's see, I better mark off. Do you see? No, you don't see my arm. Thank God. So yeah, we didn't go for the uh, normal traditional food. We made some fish soup and a chicken dinner. Um, and we had some apple pie with vanilla sauce for dessert. And then everyone went home. So it was quickly done, everything. And it's more or less just our daughter because that's the only child in, you know, our family on my husband's side. So it was like more, more or less only she who got presents. Uh, 
And then we had New Year. And we also spent it here because we have dogs and Billy, the barky one, the one you usually hear in the videos, is very, very afraid of uh, the fireworks. So we're always home and he's like hiding in the bathroom. And we invited our my sister and her husband and her two children. So we made dinner. What do you call that? Three. I don't know. We had some cheese and crackers to start with. And then we had some potato meat, brown sauce and salad. And we were supposed to have ice cream or, or banana split for dessert, but everyone was so full. So, and time went. So just before 12, we opened the bottles we were going to use to say cheers. And we had some snacks for, with that. And then New, Year, New Year's was over. Yeah. So I, I like New Year's Eve, not because it's like partying and all that. It's just, uh, yeah, I think it's nice. We're usually home, so we're, or we're, al we're always home since we, we have uh, dogs. So we prefer to stay home. Let's see. So I have one, two, three, four lines like that. So now I can cut these ends and I put out ends like this because I don't want to flip the frame over. Oh, I can feel I'm sitting in a way I'm not used to. <laughs> My back hurts. So I need to figure out another way to sit and stitch so I can get the work closer to me. So that was one strand of black. Don't ask me why I have multiple, multiple needles. I just, I just do. Um, I have a little list here to remind me a little bit of what I want to talk about. And I don't even think I wrote down a New Year's Eve or Christmas or anything. So, yeah. Rotation. I'm... I know I said something about I don't want any um, any rotation. I want to stitch what I feel like, but at the same time, I think I need some form of system or something because I want to stitch on everything, you know. And I want to do, I want to have some kind of progress in the end of this year, you know. And maybe some small finishes. I know I'm not going to have any heaven and earth uh, finishes. But I mean, I do work on some smaller projects. Like my Mirabilia. I definitely want that one finished. And I have the ink circles, the squirrels of Sumatra. It's also something I want to finish. What else? What else? Well, the cells, of course. Yes, the two cells. So, um, pain free craft cell, the first uh, letter, or, you know, it's an alphabetic cell. So, the first letter is going to be released on Sunday. She hopes that she'll get everything done in time. 
So I'm looking forward to that. So my goal is actually to have the Harry Potter stitch along done the first part until then. So we'll see. So yeah, uh, I'm off work today and tomorrow, but since I have that new job, I have a complete different responsibility. So I had to work like an hour today and I think I need to check in tomorrow as well to see if stuff needs to be done, to be taken care of. So, yeah, and because of work, um, I don't know how my life is going to look like the coming year. Um, since it's a leader position, I know that you can't always, you know, go home at four o'clock. And I'll be working Monday to Fridays. So, um, yeah, and sometimes you have to stay, sometimes you can work from home. So we'll see, I might be drained from energy and won't, you know, have any energy for stitching or anything. I, I don't know how it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be very in intense now in the beginning when I'm, I need to get to know people and learn stuff and yeah I had the same position last year 2018 to the beginning of 2019 so I know that there will be you know periods where it's more easy um, but I also know it's hard work so we'll see and same thing that it might you know affect YouTube that I don't have time or energy to you know, edit and upload and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. I hope I won't let it affect me. I need one more, one more. So yeah, I'm like scared as hell for this job. I'm like, what the did I get myself into? And at the same time, this is the job I've been wanting. So I know I want to be good at this. I want to learn how to be good at this. So, yeah. It's also very nice not to have any, you know, huge responsibility, you know, do your job and then go home. But I know myself and Usually that's not enough in the long run, yeah. So it's good I got another year to try it out. And we'll see what happens. Either I will continue or I will go back being a secretary next year, like 2021. So we'll see about that. It's almost time to restart the camera. I'm always like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You know, time is going to be hard to fill the time and everything. And I haven't, I mean, I haven't even started on my list. It's just ridiculous. Put in the stitch. Yeah. Got scared. But let's do it like that. We don't need to hear it ticking. Oh, yeah. My daughter and I. Uh, 
we love to have these um, movie nights. And since I'm in Weight Watchers, we don't do that very often now because usually we want some something nice to eat with the movies. And now between Christmas and New Year's, I decided not to, you know, Weight Watch. I just ate and ate and ate and ate some more. So we had some mo uh, movie night and we chose to watch. I'm just going to open my... I guess it's either the mailman or our neighbors are moving so yeah we decided to watch Jurassic Park 1 and it's so fun watching those kind of movies with her because she's just uh, you know she's enjoying the movies and She's like yelling out, no, no, don't go there. Oh my God, no, stop, you know. And it's just great fun. So that was nice. I think uh, we're going to do another movie tomorrow. Maybe Jurassic Park 2. I think she would say yes to that. Let's see. So that's one further. does sound like the mailman outside we'll see because I'm waiting for some haul I know we're supposed to use the hashtag slash the stash it's so difficult it's so difficult But uh, I'm watching Michelle Stitchy Bendy, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, her channel. And she's gonna have, she has every month some kind of um, donation to different causes. And every January, she's, you know, collecting for. Parkinson's so it's Michael J. Fox Foundation and who doesn't love Michael J. Fox oh my god I got the biggest crush on him when I was a teenager or something when I was young yeah I love Michael J. Fox and my father who passed two years ago just before Christmas also had Parkinson so I hope it's not too late but I'm actually planning on donating a cross stitch kit let's see this one so today when I'm going to the store I'm gonna send that um, kit to Michelle and ask her to have it in her auction and yeah have it for the raising of the money for the Parkinson so I hope it will get to her come on come on come on in time so I can all oh, four I can cut these th ends here that was one more oh. if you stitch these and it's not open only heaven and earth it's also pain free Tilton there's more I'm sure of it you got to get the pattern keeper So I'm going to take down some more black thread here. <clears throat> they 
Maybe I can just leave it there. Um, yeah, I also wanted to do a giveaway on my own channel, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I don't have that many subscribers. I don't want to flash with the giveaway either. But I wanted to show like uh, New Year's appreciates your subscribers kind of thing. But I don't know. I hardly get any comments. So, you know, it's difficult to to know maybe I should just wait until the channel gets a bit bigger or at least until I get some more comments but maybe it's because also um, that I started out more with diamond painting I guess and now I switched over to cross stitching if that has some kind of effect. I do have a lot of diamond paintings, but I still love them so much, so I don't want to give away those. But I mean, cross stitch kits, I do have a few through the years. So, yeah, no, I will think about it. At least I'm going to send away that kit for uh, being in the auction for raising money for Parkinson. Yes. It would be nice to have <clears throat> one of those auctions as well to raise money. I've done not auctions before, but yeah, you know, um, gathering uh, people to make a big team for like uh, spinning, you know, when you bike indoors uh, and, you know, you pay for each hour you bike. And we did that uh, for 12 hours. So all that money was raised for, raised for the children foundation it's uh, cancer children no it's for cancer ch kids with cancer but here in Sweden uh, and that's the thing with fundraising I think you guys have a lot of that stuff in America and a lot of you want to you know be a part of it but that's the thing when you You know, you donate money to a foundation in another country. I know it's good, but it would feel better to donate to something which we have here in Sweden, right? I think you understand how, how I'm thinking. And sure I could do that but then how many of you guys who watch my videos would like to donate to a foundation in Sweden it's just thoughts I don't know I'm not pointing fingers or judging or anything I'm just saying saying that I have a hard time donating to a foundation in America when I live in Sweden i rather donate to something here. And I think you guys would think the same too. I don't know where you live, but wherever you live. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. At least I'm going to donate to the parking sun there, the Michael J. Fox. Takes time to stitch. Takes time to stitch. 
I've been listening to three audiobooks just maybe before Christmas until now so like the two last weeks uh, one of them is Harry Potter I haven't listened to all the books but one of them at least and then I've listened to some Swedish uh, thriller criminal books that are just awesome I love them I do like fantasy as well but usually they're read in English and I prefer listening to Swedish books and well I think that since I'm working as a secretary the Swedish language is very important to me so I try to I want to keep my own language close at heart so that's yeah and I understand it better of course oh, my back is killing me Mirabilia Mm. I have some kits coming my way, which I've bought from Hawkins Hobbies, Hobbies, and I wanted to order some more kits next month, but I think all of the kits I want are out of stock. Damn! So now I don't know if I should just get the patterns and then I will, you know, add materials when I feel like it's time to stitch them I'm just afraid uh, I will have a hard time finding the the beads you know and the treasures so if I don't get that uh, what you call it the embellishment pack together with a pack with a pattern I might not ever get that pack and then I kind of get kind of panic about it because I'm like, well, how am I going to get the beads? And then maybe people say, well, you just buy the beads like you do threads. You know, you buy, you have the number of the beads and you buy them. But then I'm like, what if those beads doesn't exist when I want them? and Or they're out of stock and, well, you know, stitcher problems. <laughs> So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want more of those patterns, my God. And I got myself some needle minders. I found a store on Etsy, which are located in United Kingdom. And boy, oh boy, am I happy when I find those stores. That means less shipping, you know, less money for shipping and no custom fees and no taxes fees and no office fees. It's just the money for the needle minder and for them sending it to me. So I was happy about that. And same thing with the, uh, the hand dyed fabric. So we have Crafty, Crafty Kitten located in United Kingdom. So I joined the club of the month. No, the club of the month. Hello, fabric of the month club. Uh, and I ordered the large plus package. So that means two pieces with a bigger cut. It was like 22 by 27 inches I think so I'm looking forward to that but I ordered a fabric on the was it the 11th of November it was sometime in November and the turnaround time 
is one month and I still haven't got it. But then I'm thinking it's Christmas and yeah, so I need to wait a week more, I guess, and then I will ask her if she missed it or something. We'll see. Yeah, and when I made that order for the fabric of the month, I did. I I'm so glad I went back and looked at the mail. I think I looked just if maybe a few days after. I don't know why I went back, but I just felt like well, I just want to take a look at the order, and I saw that I've ordered Ada only. I was like, oh. No, 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 no. But then I had also written which count I wanted in. And I know like 28 count, you don't get that in Ada. So I wrote to the lady who owns Crofty Kitten and I was like, oh my God, no, I don't want that. And so she said she changed the order, but she also said when it would be time to... Um, to dye the fabric, she would react since it said Ada and 28 count. So she would understand that I didn't want the Ada. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not that I don't like Ada. I like it. It's simple. But the thing is I want to use the fabric for Mirabilia's or samplers or something. And then I prefer using even weave. Uh, but one of them, the Mirabilia kits, I actually ordered the fabric as well because it's linen, it's 30 count linen. And I feel like it's time, it is really time to try linen. and to try the smaller count. I tried the smaller count on even weave 32 count and I hated it. But then I stitched one over one and on Mirabilia I used stitch two over two. So I'm very curious. And I think it's gonna be a nice result. Although I know what happened? Oh, the batteries. I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't know. I hate shooting with that, with this camera. It's just, it's always something. Either I record too long or the battery ends or and it's too bad because it's a very nice to use it when I'm doing the unboxing videos. Then it's a very nice. Uh, but I just felt that I couldn't get that close with my mobile phone if I used it for filming. And I forgot the microphone. Forgot, forgot, forgot. Yes. Oh, it's one of those days again, you know. Um, thread. Yeah, I think I covered most, most of it. But yeah, I looked, um, on Monday, I'm releasing unboxing like number 26 and I have about 40 in total. So what's that? Like 14 more weeks to go. And then the unboxings will, will end because I haven't bought any uh, diamond paintings. 
and I'm not planning on. There is one Diamond Art Club, one of the new ones. The Light in the Night or something. The Game of Thrones themed one. Uh, I will get that at some point. But, um, yeah. I will not buy like that anymore. So, yeah. Like, I've been talking and talking, and it feels like I haven't stitched that much. Ah, <laughs> takes so long. Um, oh, I really want to go to one of those stitching cafe. Yeah, it's a cafe, and some days they have like you get to buy coffee and stuff a little bit cheaper, and you bring your knitting. And I'm thinking that I could bring just like a small cross stitch pattern and just buy a cup of coffee and maybe a sandwich and just sit there and do my thing for an hour. That would be so nice. I was almost getting into knitting when I watched Michelle stitched that uh, cowl and I saw all that hand dyed yarn oh my god but then I actually stopped myself because yarn is expensive and I was like do you really want to start something new you have just gotten into cross stitching and you have just gotten into new styles of cross, cross stitching not just heaven and earth I was like, no, I rather, I think I rather put the money on cross stitching as for now. So, yeah. Hey, Damina. Can you say it in English? Yeah. You want some meringue? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Don't get the whole bag. <laughs> yeah. Is it called meringue? You know, you whip um, the egg whites with sugar or white. Uh, what do you call that sugar? That powder sugar. And you put it in the oven. And you get those small, very sweet. Oh, it must be called meringue. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, so when I'm done with this video, I think I'll be getting back to my Harry Potter. Try to finish that as soon as possible because then you know you can set it aside and uh, concentrate or on something else and I noticed that the second letter is one of the letters I haven't stitched so I might just actually try to stitch number two before the second letter is released but we'll see we'll see so yeah i think this will be the last stitch i know uh, some of the video i guess disappeared since the battery um ran out But then you will just see me talking to you guys. So, yeah, I tried another way of uh, uh, stitch along. Uh, usually on Thursdays, I've been releasing my whipping chats when diamond painting. 
but I just don't feel like diamond painting at all. I just enjoy my cross stitching and I truly believe you have to do what you enjoy doing. Otherwise you'll just burn out. So if you have any comments, no, yeah, comments, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to hit subscribe because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.